Hey everyone, it's me, Cap. Today we're gonna to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Grab app in Southeast Asia. It is the premier app for not only ride shares, but for food deliveries, and pretty much the only app that we've used consistently throughout our travels. Um, the Uber app is not here, nor is Rappi, which I think is in, I wanna say South America, Mexico region, but Grab is the premier app here. It's a great app. We've had no major issues. They have great customer service if you need it. Hopefully you won't, but if you do, you will have it there. So typically the Grab app is in whatever language of the country that you're in. They don't do an English version for each country. I wish they would, and maybe, maybe, maybe somebody will hear this and that's what they'll do. But until then, I've had a few workarounds and I want to share those with you. So I keep the Grab app on my front screen because we use it at least once, if not several times a day for not only rides, but also to deliver food. So again, it's on my front screen. I go to my Grab app, which you can download via the Play Store or the iPhone, the Apple Store, sorry. So again, it's going to be in Vietnamese because we are in Vietnam. Uh, if you're in Spain, it's going to be in Spanish. If you're in Russia, it's going to be in Russian if they have it there. So um, we primarily use the car and food services, but there's a lot more that you can do. Uh, we don't, but you may need those things. Look them up, do some more research on them. So let's talk about car and bike. Car and bike are pretty much the same thing. You can get a ride via a car or you can get a ride on the back of a scooter. It's up to you and your comfort level. Um, the driver will generally have on a motorcycle jacket that says grab on it and he'll have an extra helmet for you if you choose to go the grab route and the grab um, helmet will be green and white along with his jacket. So that'll give you a verification of safety. Always take a look at the tag compared to the tag of the car or the motorcycle that you ordered as well before you get on it and before you get in it. So let's look at the car services. So generally speaking, it comes up with home. I'm not sure why it's showing that. Let's say let's go home. And I am going to, um, these are the places that you've generally been to recently. You could also save places. Some people actually take a grab to work every day because they don't have a car here. You can add work. You can also add home so you can get back home without any issues as well. Um, we went to Namto House Coffee recently, and we'll go there again. So generally it's gonna tell you a few things. You can pick what type of ride you wanna have. You can do the grab car, which is a four seater typically. And that's gonna be the driver, passenger seat, and two adults in the back. If you have a child, you can generally squeeze three people back there. No more than that. There's grab bike. There's going to be grab car if you need for more than four people or three people. Grab car plus is just going to be a really nice car. The prices are listed for bike is going to be 29K or 29,000 dong. Grab car is going to be 65,000. Typical price around here, I have a converter app, a conversion app rather, currency. Um, but 100k or 100,000 dong is around four dollars and twenty thirty cents. So 65 is going to be a little over three dollars or thereabouts. You'll figure it all out in your head, and then everything will be simple. But if not, you can always take that amount, put it in the currency app to see how much your cost is going to be. We're going to stay with the car. If you go here. You can choose a different method of payment. There's always the cash option, uh, debit card, credit card, however you want to do it. If you do cash, then you'll pay the driver at the end of the ride. If you do cash, I'm sorry, if you do credit card, then it'll be taken out at the end of the ride. You'll see a transaction appear. There's also promos. You may have a promo. I don't have any promos for rides right now, so there's nothing I can put there. But if I did, it may take, it may decrease my cost. And then you just hit book, grab car. The driver will generally contact you and say he's on the way. It'll tell you how many minutes he's away from you. Um, and then you'll get in the ride and you'll go. And that is how you book a grab car. Pretty simple, straightforward, not too many issues at all. 
Uh, the only issues that you may have is uh, if the app delays and you don't realize that the driver's <clears throat> outside waiting for you, they generally only wait five minutes. If they leave, then you'll get charged. Um, I think if Vietnam is like $5 or 5,000 on your next ride, they'll just add it to it. If you cancel, you also get charged a fee. At a certain time frame, you can't cancel a ride. You have to go through with it or again, pay that cancellation fee. So we're gonna go to food next because that's what we really use Grab for. And again, it's gonna be primarily in Vietnamese. There's different subsections uh, and categories is the way I like to call them. They say cuisines, I just say categories. There's a promo category, restaurants that are nearby. Um, and then there's the subsets of all that, like rice, bubble tea, and things of that nature. And then there's food you would order again. So this is basically the places that we've been to. It's almost dinner time here, so crowds pick for dinner. If it's breakfast times, it'll say lunch, breakfast, and then if it's lunch time, it will say lunch. And if it's in the middle of that, it may say snack or something like that. Um, then it says promotion, dishes that you can get a deal on at restaurants. And around you, you know, relatively close. Some of these, yeah, that one kilometer, that's right around, I mean, that's probably right outside our door. I could probably walk over there. And then if you don't want to do that, then you can do a long stroll or scroll and all the restaurants will just load up. I found that it's easier to just go up here to all cuisines. And this is where you'll see the categories. When the restaurants are loaded into the Grab system by either them or by Grab, I'm not sure who does it, um, they decide on which uh, of these categories they should fall up under. It's a little bit different, I don't know why. Say like, um, Texas burger. To me, that should be up under maybe fast food, not bread, but who am I to judge? So there's different things, so don't get too caught up, but it will help you though, uh, to narrow down what you wanna eat. Uh, you can do coffee, tea, and juice. Coffee is a drink of choice here, followed by tea and then bubble tea here. So you can always find a place that's, uh, that will deliver that. Internet connection, of course, is gonna determine how fast everything loads up for you. Now, if you don't wanna use All Cuisine, you can always come over here and say, type in something. And so I typed in chicken, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna bring up dishes at various restaurants that have chicken in the title. So there's green curry chicken, spicy lime chicken, uh, Tuk Tuk Thai food, this looks like an Indian place here. And that's good. So if you want to go there and they tell you tacos chicken and it's 45,000. And this is actually a good menu because it's in English. Not all of the menus are gonna be in English and this is where one of my tips and tricks so let's go and let's do the rice because we're in Vietnam and we want some rice, right? So this restaurant has uh, a 4.5 rating. It's about 26 minutes or so to deliver and it's 4.4 kilometers away from me. And I always try to go with a rating of four and above, under 30 minutes and under five kilometers. So we click on it, there's great pictures, but again, it's all in Vietnamese. There's nothing wrong with that because we are in Vietnam. Only problem is I just, I don't know what it is. The pictures are not the greatest to me, so I can't really see it. So what I do is I do a screenshot and ignore that basket item. I take that screenshot and I go to my Google Translate app, which you definitely need to download. And I, let me go back one step. Make sure that your Google Translate is set to translate from Vietnamese to English or whatever language that you're translating from. If you're in um, Spain, then Spanish. If you're in uh, Cambodia, Cambodian to English. If you're in Malaysia, 
I think it's Malaysian, whatever the language is. And you're gonna import the picture. We're gonna check that, and then we're gonna do select all. And then you're gonna use your finger and you're gonna highlight. And it's gonna tell you what the translation is. This is fried chicken sauce. I know that it's rice, so I'm gonna say that that's probably gonna be a piece of fried chicken and some rice. And the price is 30000 And remind you, 100 k was about $4.20 to 30 cents. So that's actually not a bad deal. This one is seafood rice. So basically, you're going to get some rice with some seafood in it. This is minced pork rice. You're going to get some rice with some pork in it. Dong chow rice. I don't know what that means. I will go. I will take that, and then I will Google it some more to figure out what that means. And then this is stir fried beef rice, and that's gonna be 30,000. The other one was 25,000. So these are actually pretty good prices. Now mind you, these are not gonna be American sized portions though. So it's gonna be a great meal, but do not think that you're gonna get like three pieces of chicken, a side, you know, a vegetable, a bread. No, you're not. You're gonna get about 25K <laughs> worth of food. So you may want to order two of them if you're really hungry. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a good price. 25K is like a dollar. It's not bad at all. There's some rice and chicken. And I'd place something in my basket already. We're just gonna add, uh, let's do this one. And here it says, special instructions optional. I'm gonna tell them no egg. Certainly rice comes with, the fried rice has eggs in it. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't want any egg. The price is 25,000. I only want one order of this. I'm gonna add it to my basket. And I already ordered something from this restaurant already, so it was still in my basket. So I have two items in my basket. I'm gonna view my order. It's gonna tell me where it's gonna delete, I mean order, deliver the order to um, and my instructions on what to do so I live at this address tell the driver to meet me at the lobby and we're gonna save that information we're gonna it's gonna show that it's gonna be about 17 minutes or so before the order is gonna arrive I'm confirming the items that I ordered, no egg for both of those. It's gonna tell me how much it costs, plus my delivery fee. If I want utensils, I would say plastic color we requested. Half the time we don't get it, but you never know. If you're in a hotel and you need things, then this is what you would check. If not, turn it off. Then you have your payment method, same as a car. You choose cash or credit card debit card, whichever one you save to the system. If it's cash, you're gonna pay the driver when he hands you the food. If it's card, it's gonna be processed as soon as the driver says that he's delivered the food to you. And then you have a promo, you can add a promo code. And then you just hit place order. The driver's gonna generally contact you and say, did they confirm the order? The system will tell you message that it confirmed the order, and then it's a waiting game. Um, the app itself does show you that the driver is arriving at the restaurant, that he's picked up the order and he's on the way to you. So you have to be active in the app and make sure that you're watching and to, or at least turn on your settings and your alerts so you get in a notice from when things change. They're gonna alert you when the driver arrives to the restaurant. They're gonna alert you when the driver leaves the restaurant. They're gonna alert you when the driver is say like two minutes out. We live upstairs, so we have to get on the elevator, so those things work out for us. We don't have to sit down in the lobby and wait for the order to arrive. And that is how you use Grab on any phone.